Primo's honey. Stream the language. Let's talk about elk diaphragm mouth calls. There's many types. Why? Well, everybody's mouth is different. Some people have a lot of space between their top teeth. Some it's very narrow. Some it's high. Some it's low. The secret to using a mouth call is finding a call that fits. In other words, when you put it in your mouth and you try to make a sound, you get the sound the call will produce, which could be a high pitch, rather than a bunch of leaking air. We make a lot of different mouth calls. These are pallet plate calls. They have a plate that is on top of the latex membrane, which gives it support. When you press your tongue against the reed, like that, it hits the plate and all the sound comes off the edge. This makes a clear sliding note, which is what elk do from a high to a low, rather than a breaking sound from a high to a low, like a turkey would do. Then you've got just your conventional calls, a narrow frame and a wide frame. And then we've got the Sonic Dome series. These are regular size and these are mini size. Some people find that one of these calls over all the others will fit them the most. Let me show you a little bit more about what I'm talking about. Here's two moles of people's mouths. This is a very narrow space between the upper teeth. And it's not too deep, but about average deep. Here's a very low palate and very wide. These require two totally different fitting calls. For instance, the wide skirt, this is called the skirt of the call, would fit this mouth and seal all the air. The tongue being placed here allows all the air to go under the call and between the tongue and the call. And that is where you get all of your control. A call like this model would require something that was had a, a little bit narrower skirt, but it would fit and seal against the top of the mouth. It sits differently in the mouth than the other model that we showed you, but it still allows all the air to pass between the tongue and the membrane. That's why we make several different packs of calls so that you should be able to buy this pack and try the different calls to make sure they fit. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You take the call, this is a uh, pallet plate call. Uh, this is the hyperestrus call. And you put it on your tongue like a piece of candy. You push it to the roof of your mouth. And your tongue ends up being about that far past the call. And then you just blow air, like forming the letter S. Let's do that without a call in our mouth. S, S, S. All the air is passing between your tongue and the roof of your mouth. With the call, <coughs> once you can control that note, you're gonna be able to make cow sounds. So, in selecting your mouth call, be sure it seals. If it gags you, it's probably too far back. If it touches your front teeth, it's too far forward. So about in the middle of your mouth, with your tongue about that far past the reed. And that's your starting place. On other videos, we're gonna show you more details about how to use the diaphragm elk mouth call.